Раз, два, три, четыре. Can't wait to go to the Russian jacuzzi tonight. Yeah, dog. Go near that thing. Uh, I'm Goose, and I sing in Comeback Kid. My name is Casey Humberg, and when I'm not sitting here, I play guitar in Comeback Kid. My name is Kevin, and I play the bass. Okay. So, how do you in Russia? You're the first time in Russia. Oh, okay, what's your impression about tonight's show? About As Casey hands me the mic. Um, tonight was probably one of the funnest shows we played in... Uh, I can't remember how long. Like we, uh, we there was a lot of uh, stuff we had to do to to actually get here. We we thought that we had to cancel the show tonight because um, uh, we had to send our passports in to the Russian embassy in Canada, and they had to send theirs into the U.S. embassy, uh, the Russian embassy in USA, and um, it was kind of all sketchy and weird. And then we had to we sent our passports in for a few weeks, and finally we got our visas back and. Uh, it, we found out that it was we were able to go to Russia and, and it's uh, I mean this is one of the places that we've we've come to Europe so many times and we've never been able to like, cross over to Russia and this time we finally be, were able to do that so we're very very excited to be here and tonight was one of the craziest shows we played in, in like forever so yeah very good. good Russia has an awesome scene it's amazing here it's a great time. It, it, it's good to be in a place where kids really appreciate the music and uh, are just uh, really just excited to be here. And like you know, because we play a lot of places where I think uh, so many bands come through, and it kind of gets uh, a little bit um, I don't know, just people get used to it. So it's cool to have people that are really really super excited and uh, make like I can't wait to come back. So. We haven't seen much yet. We came. We came. We flew here. We got picked up, and then we walked in here. So we haven't seen much of Moscow. But um, we're gonna go walk around tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, ask, ask me later. Okay. So, uh, do you know something about uh, Russian hardcore punk rock I don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh, the bands. Uh, tattoo? Uh, no. <laughs> tattoo. That's all we know about Russia music. But the band, the bands that played earlier were awesome. They sounded amazing. <laughs> oh right, right, right. Tattoo is the punkest and the most hardcore band in Russia. Mark my words. Not gonna get us. <laughs> Do you think uh, it's uh, necessary to do something besides music? Uh, do something uh, besides music? Are you like a thousand on top of the music? What about on top of the music? Because in the beginning, uh, yeah, about, there was uh, like after the music started to be more expensive, actions, the promoter thoughts. I think I'll give this to Kevin. Um, <coughs> Well, outside of hardcore, it's important to eat well and sleep well and uh, exercise. Wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. Okay. Kevin thinks it's good to eat well, sleep well, and wear your seatbelt, but I say don't wear a seatbelt. Don't ever sleep. And I exercise very rarely. Different views on hardcore, I think, maybe. That and, yeah. <laughs> Skateboarding and bikes and cycling are also good. Yes. Well, you, you're you're also talking to the non-vegetarians of Comeback Kid. Like Jeremy over there, he he he's he's vegetarian and he's going vegan apparently. Like uh, uh, apparently Jeremy's going vegan in a couple. I'm gonna try. He's gonna try to go vegan in a couple of weeks. So, well, you know, like I think I think that hardcore it, it's just a cool thing because people can. Uh, it's a place where uh, people are exposed to lots of different lifestyles and you can kind of pick and choose. Uh, what 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 works for you personally and um i mean for me like i i don't really uh have that many restrictions for sorry 
Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. organization stuff? Right? Yeah, I mean... This is, this is oh. actually in, uh, in Russia. Yeah, I mean, we're come back here. We're not really, like, uh, very involved in that many uh, activist groups. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I think I think we all just have uh, our own personal uh, ideas of what, what we want to do and, like, things that we think are uh, necessary. Uh, so, I don't know. But basically, having having those things in hardcore is great because that's what hardcore is about. It's uh, not only a uh, um, style of music, but almost a political statement uh, and something that kind of goes against the grain. So, to be involved in organiza organizations like that, I think you're um, living the hardcore lifestyle. So, yeah. As far as like na support, not supporting nationalist views. Well, oh Nazi, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah Nazi, oh yeah, we're absolutely anti-Nazi, and uh, I think that that doesn't really have that doesn't have a place in hardcore. Uh, I know all of Comeback Kid doesn't think that thinks that not Nazism doesn't have a place in hardcore, and uh, yeah. Uh, the, I, I, the thing is, like, I don't think racism or Nazi views are are welcome anywhere. Like, whether it be like, the thing is, like, hardcore is, is music, and I mean, like, people are gonna be exposed to different ideas and different like uh, lifestyle choices when when with hardcore because a lot of hardcore bands have a message and they'll, they 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 have uh, hardcore kids are ex and punk punk rock kids are exposed to. Um, ideas that maybe they wouldn't be exposed to if they weren't listening to the music but ultimately it comes down to music and when you're talking about like racism and like Nazi views like that doesn't have a place anywhere like like my friends that are hardcore my friends that are punk rock my friends that are into like not hardcore my parents my my cousins my family uh, just people that I know from school or whatever like that that shit is not welcome anywhere and we like we don't tolerate that ever any any time like there's there's no there's no point of it. There's, it, it there's no point you know and with music whether it be hardcore or any other style um, I think that you know if it, it's great when bands like want to educate other other people about um, things like that but I don't know like w we've never really been that much of a of a, a political band we never really like st uh, had a, had songs about that but that's almost because like for us that it's just it's such a thing that um, is not we just don't think that that is relevant in in our lives and it shouldn't be relevant in anyone else's lives because we're all equal and I hang out we hang out with people of all different uh, religions race uh, backgrounds whatever like you don't have to it doesn't have to be hardcore to stand up against that you just have to be people and uh, welcoming people you know because our whole thing I think I think one one thing that comeback kid has always stood for is just being accepting of other people's lifestyles and you know and like yeah so I don't know <laughs> Well, first of all, we uh, since we changed singers, I used to play guitar, so Casey got to join the band. Hell yeah! And uh, so now I'm singing, and, and now Casey Helmet Mountain here. Do you need a beer? Yeah, yeah, I do, yeah. He gets to play guitar, and we're having a fucking great time. Great time. Uh, influences made on the music, though. Influences made on the music. Um. Well. <laughs> well. Andrew's Andrew. Uh, you know, to make his head a little bit bigger. 
uh, is 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 a little bit more capable than Scott, our old singer, was. Uh, and that's nothing against Scott. Um, just Andrew has just, uh, you know, been involved with music forever and has had a lot of uh, frontman experience. So it was very natural for him, and he was just um, just able to do different things technically, singing wise, that um, Scott necessarily wasn't able to do. So it kind of added a new dimension to the music, and uh, I think greatly improved it. So um, not to say that Scott wasn't great. Scott was great in his own way, but I think Andrew's great in his own way as well. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, it's going great. We've only played three shows so far. We played uh, Finland, we played Helsinki, we played Stockholm, and now we've played here. And um, every show has been amazing. They've all been exceeded our expectations and have been super fun. So tour is going really well. It's going awesome. Um, I don't know, like, I think a l this record, like, I mean, uh, there there isn't really, like, one certain theme with the record, but um, some songs are a little bit more personal, and some songs are uh, just, I, I guess, so, like, some thoughts on um, things that are, that we see around us. I mean, I, I don't think that, like, I'm, like, the most, you know, knowledgeable person as far as, like, issues that are going on in the world or anything, but, like, uh, we wrote a song, like the, the title track of the record is called Broadcasting, and it's just kind of basically about like, I just kind of felt like um, when I'd watch when I'd watch the news or I'd like be watching like listening to the radio or just kind of anything like, I definitely get like a, a really biased view of what's going on in the world and like um, like even like talking to like my parents or uh, just like different people. Um, around me like I think everyone kind of gets gets has has a view of what's happening in the world and um, it may not actually be what 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 is actually happening and I, I it would be nice if like we could be provided with like, information of what's actually happening like you know in the war um, in the Middle East or uh, just like I don't know like j there's just a, a, a lot of areas where I think we're kept in the dark and it's just kind of like I we wrote a, a song about just um, how we're not really informed so much of what's going on and sometimes um, we're we're told to be scared of certain things that maybe like are dangerous but like there's just as much danger in our home in just in our backyard you know what I mean and like so it's just kind of about um, the song broadcasting is just about uh, just all that stuff, yeah. So, um, I mean, we have other songs about uh, being tired. <laughs> we have songs about uh, the, the the music industry and like the uh, just the the kind of uh, how sometimes I think the music business really takes away from the creativity and the and the um, inspiration that when, when an artist wants to write music and uh, you have labels and managers or whatever trying to tell you like to write a record really quick or to uh, put your music in this direction or that direction and just kind of like um, I don't know just it's just kind of like the whole record is basically just kind of a reaction to to what what we've been thing, things that I've been kind of seeing and just some feelings so I don't know I think that's for Casey. He's oh good. man! <laughs> All right, Russian fans and Russian, the Russian public <laughs> are totally sweet, dude. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah, kids, the hardcore kids here are great. Um, support their bands. They support their scene. Uh, they're totally, uh, you know. Supportive of hardcore, totally uh, in love with it, which is awesome to see. It's refreshing, and uh, like Andrew was saying earlier, they, it seems like they don't really take it for granted. It seems like everyone's having a great time, sweating, dancing, and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, the Russian people are pretty sweet. Some of them are scary. The customs lady today scared me. That was the strongest woman I've ever seen. 
and uh, yeah. What else, man? Don't be. All right, I won't be scared. Yeah. Come back, kid has no fear. Yeah, we were a little bit scared today, so I don't know. This is what? Special for me. Music Infection TV. Right. Okay. This is Comeback Kid. <laughs> special for Music Infection TV. This is Comeback Kid. Special for, for Music Infection TV. Right. Got it. Come on. Ready? What's up? This is Comeback Kid. Special for Music Infected. <laughs> Infected. Infection. Ah, fuck. All right. Yeah. It's All right. Infection TV. Yeah. Pass. All right. Here we go. What's up? This is Comeback Kid. Yo, special for Music Infection TV. That's right. All right. Tonight, feeling tight. <laughs> <laughs>